and this is going to be why I basically make a video where I might just fucking lose my shit. So, a man in Florida has basically declared his his gun shop a Muslim free zone. Yes, folks, the people that come from the illustrious land of Jeb Bush and meth heads happen to be happens to come this asshat who believes that his gun shop, Florida Gun Supply, should be a Muslim free zone zone because somehow Muslims are what is a threat to America. What is some you know that they are somehow, you know, a big threat to him. According to uh, Insider Fox News, a federal discrimination lawsuit was filed by a Muslim activist organization against uh, against uh, uh, Andy Hallinan's uh, Florida f firearms retailer who posted a Muslim free zone sign, uh, which and the case has been dismissed. Uh, U.S. District Court Judge Beth Bloom ruled that Florida gun supply owner Hallen and, uh, Andy Hallinan's statement was protected by the First Amendment, and the activists couldn't show that they were in, that they were injured. The plaint, plaintiff, the uh, Council of American Islamic Relations or CARE, has 30 days to appeal the ruling. Um, basically, what Hallinan said was that because somehow that because somehow that Muslims were were living amongst us and that they were uh, that they basically saying that they were friggin that Muslims were somehow a threat to him and that he wasn't going to be selling them firearms because somehow that's how terrorism happens to work somehow that by giving them weapons you're somehow training them how to use a weapon and thus you're basically supplying terrorism because yeah that's totally how fucking terrorism works if he really wanted to make some sort of fucking statement and he really wanted to stop terrorism, maybe he should stop selling firearms to white right-wing Christians. Because I'm pretty sure that, you know, again, you are twice as more likely to be killed by a white supremacist and Christian fundamentalist than you are by Islamic fundamentalism. But apparently that's, again, something that doesn't stick into the mind of people like this numbnuts who basically has the brain capacity of a fucking squirrel. Actually, that no, that's giving them too much credit. The squirrels are smarter. Anyway, um, but the point being is that he is so fucking moronic that he thinks that by keep by making his business a Muslim-free zone that somehow that's going to stop terrorism in America. Yeah, I guess that that'll work. work that work out real good when you, we see more issues like you know the Planned Parenthood shooting, um, the Charleston Church shooting, the um, uh, the uh, Louisiana shoot, the Louisiana theater shooting, you know, and, um, school shootings. You know, may, maybe once we see more of those, maybe Americans will start to think different. Yeah, just take the, the weapons out of the hands of Muslims, and then suddenly shootings will stop. T these terrorist activities will stop, right? Yeah, because that's totally how all that shit really works. Again, the fact that we have had, what, two attacks in America that have been, that have been at the hands of Arabs... And at least one is at least that we know of that was done by an Islamic fundamentalist nut, numb nuts, which has killed what? I th think in total those two killed oh about seventeen people, nineteen if you count count the the shooters. Uh, while white supremacy and Christian fundamentalism this this year alone has killed. Um, well, quite a lot. And considering that the amount of people killed by Muslim extremists in America was probably about around, oh, the low 30s. Well, actually, no, high 30s probably now. In comparison to the probably 60 to 70 people that were killed by Christian fundamentalism and white supremacy. And again, these are, 
are numbers that haven't been actuated with updates, but the last time I had posted anything, I remember that those numbers again were about oh, 048 to 26, in which white supremacy and Christian fundamentalism had uh, been seeming how they were winning out on that one because they were, you know, they had double as many kills. Um, but yeah, for, and first and foremost, I find it ironic that this man has a right to do this and, there, and is able to hide behind the First Amendment when his very action violates another core principle of the First Amendment. Which is the freedom? Which is freedom of religious expression? People cannot be discriminated against because of their religion, and yet this guy is clearly violating it. Yet, of course, he's just free to hide behind his right of free speech, right? See, this kind of goes to show what I'm talking about by white privilege and white supremacy in America. When basically assholes like this can get away with shit, and yet the government seems to be completely, pretty much forming a, 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 a its own hypocrisy right from its ruling. It's like yeah, he's It's like he's not in violation of the First Amendment because he has a right to violate the First Amendment's right to freedom of religion because he has the First Amendment right to free speech. That, that, that right there is the, the whole is a contradiction in itself. It's a contradiction of constitutionalism. It's a contradiction of bourgeois law. It, 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 this, is, the, this isn't even about his right of free speech. This man is clearly violating the religious liberties of an entire group of people based upon his, his his what is blatant Islamophobia but of course no apparently people don't see it that way and of course the and of course care has 30 days to file an appeal and I hope they do and I hope they kick some ass because frankly again if you really want to stop terrorism if you really want to make you know quit see a reduction in these violent terrorist shootings and stuff like that that we've been seeing across the country then again maybe you should consider you know stopping the sales to white Christians particularly white Christian males considering that they are the ones that are more likely to you know go shooting up a bunch of places than an Islamic extremist again Dylan Roof John Russell Hauser, the Planned Parenthood shooter, just to name a few, you know. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and, I'm, and this has been NorCal Corner.